You guys loved my video on skincare ingredients that actually work for anti-aging. Well, I am back. I am back. Well, I'm here every day, but I am back in today's video with my top five evidence-based ingredients for body care needs that you should seriously consider using. These are things that actually work, are evidence-based, science-backed, not just some gimmick out there. These are things that might seem a little boring, but hey, they work, they have the track record to get results. First of all, why should you be thinking about active ingredients in body care? Well, you shouldn't be neglecting the skin on your body, right? Like we have this tendency, myself included, to just focus on this small surface area of our face, because hey, that's what everybody sees for the most part. But body skin matters as well. Remember, this is an organ system that we are hoping to take care of to improve its function long-term, because we plan to be here for a long time and we want to be as healthy as possible. Body skin is often very very exposed, vulnerable territory. And in fact, it's often prone to dryness, irritation, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, rough skin texture, little rough bumps, and stubborn acne breakouts, especially on the chest and back. The good news is you can actually go into your local drugstore and find affordable skincare products that can help these issues on the body. And your dermatologist might even tell you, hey, you should use a product with this ingredient to tackle this condition because we often do. Let's start out with one of my favorites, which you guys who have been watching me for a while, you are already you are already onto, and that is urea. Urea is underrated, U-R-E-A. Urea is a humectant. It's actually naturally found in skin's outermost layer. It is what we refer to as a natural moisturizing factor. It has hygroscopic properties, meaning it helps to improve water retention in skin's outermost layers. This is a game changer when it comes to taking care of skin on your body because the downstream benefits are monumental in that it helps improve water content. So the enzymes that require water in your skin to do what they do, they can function appropriately to exfoliate your skin naturally for smoother skin and better barrier integrity to help your skin protect you from the outside world and to reduce the formation of dry, rough skin texture, dry little rough bumps around the hair follicle, which is referred to as chicken skin or strawberry skin. The medical term for this is keratosis pilaris. Urea not only is excellent for keratosis pilaris, but it's just great for dry, cracked skin, for callus, for thickening around the nails. It's also wonderful for nail care as well. It helps to improve the health of the nail plate to use urea-based moisturizers. Ingredient number two is alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids are actually a category of ingredients that include glycolic, lactic, and mandelic. There are a few others, but these are the main players that you see most often. And these are the ingredients that have the most evidence behind them. These ingredients exfoliate the skin and they also can help improve water content similar to urea. Glycolic acid is small, lactic acid is a little bit bigger, and mandelic acid is the largest. So it is also the gentlest and takes the longest to work, but all three of these ingredients can be used either alone or you'll often encounter body products that combine the three. These exfoliating acids not only help improve hydration, they gently exfoliate the skin, they can improve the appearance of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and depending on the formulation, they can even improve not only epidermal thickness, but dermal thickness as well. For example, ammonium lactate, which is the salt of lactic acid, at 12% or higher strength, it can improve both epidermal thickness and dermal thickness. And guess what? The long-term ramifications of that are an improvement in the appearance of sun damage, as well as an improvement in the appearance of wrinkles. If you use an alpha hydroxy acid product, look for body lotion body creams that contain these ingredients. But importantly, make sure you protect your skin from the sun. Alpha hydroxy acids can make you a bit more sensitive to a sunburn. Ingredient number three is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid actually loves to get into your pores to exfoliate them and reduce blackhead and whitehead formation. But on the body, it can actually be helpful to a certain extent for acne, but it's great for a condition known as seborrheic dermatitis. A lot of people are focused, again, on their face seborrheic dermatitis is a condition that often happens on the face. You get these oily, greasy, flaky red patches, usually in the brows, around the nose, but this condition can happen on the body as well. And it often can heal in deeper skin tones with a white mark, post-inflammatory hypopigmentation. Salicylic acid can be great for that. It gently exfoliates and it's anti-inflammatory. It's also very helpful for hyperpigmentation as well. Unlike alpha hydroxy acids, it does not make you more sensitive to a sunburn and it also 
also can be very helpful for rough and bumpy skin, keratosis pilaris. Ingredient number four is retinol. Retinol is slept on for body care concerns. Retinol is an evidence-based ingredient which improves skin cell turnover, improves collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, can rejuvenate the appearance of photoaging, and can also help in supporting the needs of the skin to clear up stubborn hyperpigmentation. And it can also be wonderful for keratosis pilaris. Now, you may be aware of this, but retinol can be irritating in the beginning. So you might wanna start using it in your body care routine very gently, very slowly. Look for a body lotion or moisturizer with retinol. They tend to be formulated in such a way to reduce the dryness and irritation. One of my favorites is the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol. Not only does it have retinol, but it also has urea, and it's got niacinamide as well, which is great for stubborn hyperpigmentation. It's a really great product for rejuvenating the appearance of sun damage on the body, for dry, rough skin texture, for hyperpigmentation, for smoother skin, for more hydrated, plump, firm skin. Remember, retinol used consistently over the long run can actually help your skin handle UV better by putting the brakes on enzymes that destroy your collagen, provided, of course, you pair it with sun protection. And it also can help to improve collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, helping to diminish those little fine lines and wrinkles. Ingredient number five is slept on as well, and that's benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide, you might think of uh, appropriately so as an acne treatment. I mean, that is what it is. Benzoyl peroxide is antibacterial against the bacteria that plays a role in acne pathogenesis, Cutibacterium acne. Benzoyl peroxide also exfoliates the skin and has anti-inflammatory properties. So it's a great product to use on the body for body acne, chest and back, for example. Also on the rear end, a lot of people deal with breakouts there as well. I find that benzoyl peroxide is most effectively used on the body in a wash form for a few reasons. Benzoyl peroxide can be drying and irritating, so you get a short contact approach with it, reducing the risk of dryness and irritation while taking advantage of the ingredient, which can be deposited behind on the skin. And it also reduces the likelihood that you experience fabric bleaching. Benzoyl peroxide, if you're not aware, if it comes in contact with fabrics, can bleach them. But you're like, okay, I outgrew my acne long ago. It's not something I deal with. Well, benzoyl peroxide on the body can be a game changer when used as an underarm wash or a foot wash for reducing the bacteria that break down sweat in these areas and contribute to odor. Just lather it in these areas in the shower and rinse it off. Use it a couple of nights a week as tolerated. It can really be great. I suggest looking for a benzoyl peroxide wash that is 4% strength because it tends to be less irritating than higher strengths. However, if you have really thick stubborn acne breakouts, you might want to go with a higher percentage like 10%. Just make sure the washcloth that you use to lather it onto the skin is white so you don't ruin your favorite washcloth that is colored because it will bleach fabrics. So how exactly should you incorporate these ingredients into your routine? I'm a big fan of just looking for a moisturizer that has one of these ingredients and going from there and applying it daily as tolerated. I already mentioned my go-to favorite recommendation for not only a retinol but also a urea for the body and that is the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Relief Body and Face Lotion. Also, uh, if you are looking for a glycolic acid moisturizer for the body, the brand Alpha Care has an excellent glycolic acid body lotion. And if you are looking for that lactic acid at 12% strength or higher to improve both epidermal and dermal thickness to diminish wrinkles, look for Boring Old Amlactin. You can get it at Costco in a large pump bottle. You can also look for products that combine multiple ingredients as well. For example, Cetaphil's new skin activator line has alpha hydroxy acids in it. Cetaphil also has an excellent salicylic acid body lotion that is great not only for the body, but for the face if you want to entertain the idea of using that ingredient. While I recommend looking for body moisturizers that you can use daily after showering with either your retinol, your urea, your alpha hydroxy acids, or your salicylic acid, or some combination of those ingredients. For benzoyl peroxide, as I alluded to earlier, I suggest looking for a wash. Now, I have been recommending Panoxyl acne washes for years and years and years. They have a 10% strength for those of you with more stubborn acne, and they have a lower percentage, 4% strength for those of you who are looking to either help mild acne or to utilize it for body deodorizing purposes. Use this in the shower, lather it to the affected areas. If you have really thick, stubborn acne, you might want to leave it on the skin for a few minutes while you're in there to really allow it to penetrate those areas efficiently. And then of course, rinse it off. Um, if you're using it under the arms in the shower, you might want to use it just 
just a couple of nights a week because it can be drying and irritating. Importantly, make sure you rinse it all off of the skin. As a side note, if you are pursuing this for acne on the body, after you get out of the shower, pat dry the skin and apply a salicylic acid moisturizer to reduce dryness, irritation, and to take advantage of salicylic acid's acne fighting properties. You get a two for one there. All right, guys. So those are my top five body ingredients you should consider pursuing. It can definitely be helpful. This is by no means a comprehensive list of all of the amazing ingredients out there that can benefit body skin just as much, if not better than facial skin. And of course, on this channel, it should go without saying, although not mentioned in this video, that you need to be wearing sunscreen to expose skin, especially if you're going to be spending any amount of time outdoors. If you want to improve conditions like acne, like hyperpigmentation, you need to protect the skin. If you want to fight off and prevent premature skin aging, you need to protect the skin. That goes without saying, but these are some ingredients that can be added to a body care routine to get more targeted results for things that you might already be dealing with or looking to prevent as well. All right, guys, I hope you all found this video helpful and informative. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.